<laughs> this is as close as we get inside our each other's bubbles. One love. Yes. Uh, Ryan Jones, Ryan J, or Enki. And uh, my name's Dan, by the way. Dan Smart. I go by Smart Bomb. Anyway, met this guy like 10 years ago. I used to go over to his house. He was into hip hop, into turntablism, scratch, and shit like that. And I really liked drum and bass. It was the one thing that drew to me when I went to parties. I went to raves a lot of times back in the what, 90s, early late 90s. yeah late nineties, early two thousands. And uh, drum and bass room was where I always found myself. I was there every party I went. We met. He met some uh, guys that he went to high school with there that were drum and bass DJs that were actually around, and another guy named Mike. And they were throwing this party, and I had no experience with throwing parties or anything. I just told him to give me some flyers because I would hand them out to cute girls or whatever, you know, try to get more people in the spot at 5 in the morning. And uh, I ended up getting rid of, like, 400 flyers at this rave for him so, and basically started kind of a thing with them where we started throwing parties at this loft. started doing basically free after hours parties for onset every Saturday down Temple Billiards. Those guys suck. Yeah. God damn you Adam. Thanks for yeah. that. We started doing all these parties down at onset or uh, we started throwing these after hours for onset. It was just it wasn't even an after hours to begin with. It was just a place for everybody who was out kicking it on a Saturday night, listening to drum and bass, to go kick it and listen to more drum and bass <laughs> after the bars close. Because, you know, I mean, in Seattle, bars close too. The other side to it, I think, is um, I wanted to get this guy a lot of exposure. You know, like, he was, he was a newcomer to the DJ game. I wasn't playing records yet, but, like, people that we hung out with that didn't get a lot of time at the clubs or get went to the clubs, we could set them up at the after hours and they would get the same type of exposure. Great way for a bedroom DJ to get exposure is yeah. invite everybody over to your house and let me play my records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My deck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Somebody was in town, you know, like we look around the room and there were six of your favorite producers sitting around and you're like, damn. Uh, like, like <laughs> yeah. Chris Renegade's horror party, remember that? Yeah, that, that, was, that we had a shit ton of 
I remember we covered your car in flyers, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's in there. Okay. <laughs> nice. Good to know. There's a lot of heads that have been through there, too, that have just played for free, that have just played yeah. because everybody because was Because we down. never charged money for the parties. We just there wanted was never people to come over and kick involved. it and enjoy the music and have so, fun. Like, the headliner would come back from onset and be like, oh, I want to get on the decks and play. You know? and like, yeah, we've had an all-star <laughs> Cast we go down. We go down to the gas station and buy them out a PBR, <laughs> take it home, stuff it in the fridge because everybody gave us like hundred and fifty dollars to go buy beer yep. for two o'clock, <laughs> and the party would go on till six o'clock in the morning because people Sometime. wanted to hear more drum and bass. Sometimes know, much later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was asleep by seven. I swear. Yeah. <laughs> Not me. <So>. <laughs> <laughs> In 2008, Soma went above ground and started a 21 and up night at a new club called Jade. Jade was on the outskirts of the city, but still very easy to get to. It also featured an amazing Chinese menu, which served all the way until 2 o'clock. Soma focused on bringing in DJs each week that had a similar sound, each a little different, but could create a cohesive piece for the evening. People knew they were in for a solid night of drum and bass, and sound, sound was never an issue.
in 2009 and then again in 2010, the promotion team of DJ Jin from Portland and Action of Seattle got together and formed the One Love Drum and Bass Battles. Each city started off with 20 contestants in round one. That was narrowed down to 10 in round two. And from there, the top five advanced to the final. The DJs were each given 10 minute slots to represent their particular sound of drum and bass as best that they could. The final pitted five finalists from Portland and five finalists from Seattle against each other to see who would bring home the Northwest Drum and Bass Championship. The battles were a shot in the arm of fun for the drum and bass community, creating a lot of excitement and hometown pride. The competition was stiff and got even tougher as the finals went on. When the dust cleared in 2009, DJ Flav of Seattle took home the Northwest Drum and Bass Championship. In 2010, the finals took place in Seattle and featured a guest judge, DJ Dara. Portland came to battle. They wanted to take the title back. Seattle didn't want to hear any of that. repeat of 2009, DJ Flav of Seattle once again took home the championship. After 10 years of promoting Drum and Bass Tuesdays, Marcus Lalario passed the torch to longtime resident Demo. This also marked a return to the Baltic Room, the birthplace of Drum and Bass Tuesdays. The first month back was packed with local favorites from Drum and Bass Tuesday's past, as well as the always popular 360 BPM reunion. Demo brought on local former body rock promoter Action to assist in promotions and booking of the night. Right away, the night took on a new approach, bringing in a diverse range of DJs and trying many new things. Despite their efforts, DMB was once again falling on hard times in Seattle. Tuesdays, always a staple of the community, saw its numbers dwindle, but you can always count on some hardcore dedicated DMB heads in Seattle with plenty of fresh enthusiasm to fill in the void. This also meant loads of new talents behind the decks.
360 BPM crew return for the crowd favorite Baltic Room anniversary and reunion, bringing out the old and the new. Demo had brought on some new help by this time for the night in the form of MBM and Jonglis. And with a fresh set of Jonglis at the helms, the night started to once again take off, bringing in some of the finest talent from around the world. growing and they brought on even more help with Sir Pass and Haji helping out with things on the side. By 2011, the Baltic Room was regaining speed and occasionally bringing out headliners to complement the strong new crop of local DMV DJs. In November, Drum and Bass Tuesday celebrated its 13 year anniversary with a 10 plus crew of new DMV Tuesdays residents behind the decks. Onset and DMV Tuesdays teamed up for Seattle's annual festival festival. Together, they brought out some amazing acts, and the Baltic Room played host to each of the two events. Concrete Jungle Seattle made its return under the Come Correct Promotions banner. Onset, never one to let up, continually was bringing in some of the finest talent from around the country and from around the world. Data Push DJs also teamed up with Onset for a series of one-off shows bringing out Total Science, MTC1, and Criteria. Soma, always known for finding awesome, out-of-the-way venues, chose Bogarts as the home to their new monthly. Soma continued to focus on supporting local drum and bass DJs. In 2012, and Drum and Bass Tuesdays is a completely different beast. The only thing that remains the same is the name. But looking at the month of April, things could be looking up again for the staple of Seattle Drum and Bass. Onset celebrated its 10 year anniversary bringing out Dylan for a special old school set. 10 years of Onset and amazingly the city was still in one piece. 
After the anniversary, Onset has now switched to a monthly format, bringing out some big guns for each event so far this year.
too much. Please, let's put on my mace bag. Come on. Over here, too. This is falling out of the